We all know the buzz around the first and second Starship launches. Even people who usually don't pay much attention to rocket launches were watching to see how it would go. The reason is simple. Starship isn't just another rocket. It's the biggest and most powerful one that's ever been made, and its goals are even bigger. Now, as we're getting ready for another orbital launch test, SpaceX has shared some important updates about it. In this video, we're going to cover these updates, what they mean for Starship and SpaceX, and why this launch is a big deal. Before we dive into the details, let me introduce you to an amazing tool for space enthusiasts. You can create your own custom pictures, wallpapers, and posters with just a couple of words. Just type something like SpaceX's Starship on Mars, and it creates the image. It's easy and fun. Interested in making your own space images? Click the link in the description and give it a try. SpaceX has scheduled Starship Flight 3 for April 14th, aiming for a morning launch. This follows a series of rigorous preparations, including a successful wet dress rehearsal test, which is a critical step in ensuring the vehicle and its systems are ready for the actual launch. The wet dress rehearsal involved loading the rocket with over 10 million pounds of fuel in less than an hour, showcasing significant improvements in SpaceX's operational capabilities. Above every step in launching SpaceX's Starship, obtaining the FAA's license is the most important one, because even if you have a perfectly engineered rocket, without that crucial launch license, launching it isn't an option. Like we all remember, the delays and frustrations with the FAA during both the first and second Starship launches were too much. It got to the point where news of the FAA's launch license approval was awaited with more excitement than the launch date announcement itself. For this third flight, the official launch process is expected to span approximately four hours. During the pre-flight phase, about one hour and 15 minutes before liftoff, SpaceX's flight director will greenlight the start of propellant loading. This step is crucial and is estimated to take between 20 to 30 minutes. Following this, the process of loading liquid oxygen and methane onto the rocket stages begins, with the booster being prioritized due to its larger size. This ensures efficient fuel loading and optimizes the rocket's mass distribution for stability. A key advancement for the Starship launch is the expected reduction in fuel loading time, as demonstrated in a recent wet dress rehearsal, where SpaceX successfully loaded the vehicle's Super Heavy and Starship stages with more than 10 million pounds of liquid oxygen and methane fuel. A wet dress rehearsal is a critical step before launch, simulating the entire countdown process up to, but not including, engine ignition or liftoff. This includes fueling the rocket, which tests both the equipment and the team's ability to handle the complex procedures involved in preparing for launch. Cooling the Raptor engines on both stages before fuel loading is another critical procedure. This step is designed to minimize temperature differences between the engines and the fuel, protecting the engines from potential damage due to sudden temperature changes. As the countdown continues, both the booster and ship's fuel loading will complete a few minutes before liftoff. In the final seconds, the SpaceX flight director will perform a final check, leading to the activation of the flame deflector and engine ignition. This system is designed to safely redirect the intense heat and force generated by the engines away from the launch pad and the rocket. Immediately following this, the ignition sequence for the rocket's engines begins. With the initiation of the ignition sequence, all 33 Raptor engines come to life simultaneously, creating a monumental thrust that propels the rocket into its flight phase. The launch sequence involves a rapid transition from engine activation to liftoff, minimizing the thrust's impact on the launch pad. However, the initial launch demonstrated the significant impact the rocket's engines have on the launch infrastructure creating a massive crater and extensive damage that took months to repair. This event highlighted the need for better protective measures against the intense forces and heat generated during liftoff. In response, SpaceX developed solutions like a massive water-cooled steel plate to protect the launch mount, although it wasn't ready in time for the first launch. These systems aim to cool the pad and absorb the energy released during launch to prevent similar damage. Post-liftoff, Starship and its booster will head towards the Gulf of Mexico, following a southeastern trajectory. Around 52 seconds into the flight, 
the vehicle will experience max Q, the point of maximum mechanical stress. Stage separation, a key milestone, occurs shortly after, followed by booster engine cutoff and the ignition of Starship's engines to continue its ascent into orbit. Reaching orbit is a significant milestone, but the mission's objectives extend further. SpaceX plans to conduct payload door operations and a propellant transfer demonstration testing systems crucial for future missions. Upon completing all these steps in orbit, Starship will execute a re-entry maneuver using the effectiveness of its heat shield system and landing capabilities. The modified landing trajectory aims for the Indian Ocean. The first test flight began with a successful liftoff from Starbase, Texas. However, it quickly ran into problems. Damage to the launch pad occurred as the vehicle lifted off, attributed to three engines failing to ignite properly, causing the rocket to slide laterally off the launch pad. Throughout the flight, several Raptor engines failed, and communication with one of the engines was lost due to an unspecified energetic event. The flight ended prematurely when a series of issues, including fires in the aft end of the booster caused by methane leaks and resulting wire bundle damage, led to the loss of control of most of the booster's engines. This cascaded into a failure to attempt stage separation, ultimately resulting in the loss of both the booster and the spacecraft. Following the first flight, SpaceX made numerous improvements to the rocket systems. These included enhancements to the engine section purge system to prevent methane buildup and fires, updates to the flight termination system for better vehicle termination, and the introduction of hot staging to simplify the separation process and potentially increase payload capacity. During the second flight, the vehicle lifted off cleanly with all 33 Raptor engines functioning correctly. The hot staging process, a new feature for this flight, was executed successfully, with the spacecraft igniting its engines for separation while the booster's engines were still running. Despite a successful start, the second flight also encountered issues leading to its premature end. During the booster's boost back burn, progressive engine failures resulted in the booster's destruction. Later in the flight, planned venting of liquid oxygen in the spacecraft caused fires and explosions, leading to a loss of communication and ultimately the activation of the flight termination system. SpaceX's first two Starship flights ended in explosions, worsening their already difficult relationship with the FAA. The third flight is crucial for SpaceX to show improvements and comply with regulations. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.